Show of hands. Team Corinne or no? Oh, wow. No, okay. We all want Corinne. It depends on where you go. Sometimes everyone loves I can never tell. I personally enjoy watching Corinne. And I think those moments that they don't show Corinne, where she's actually being a normal girl, um, that's what I find the most interesting. Especially last night's episode didn't really focus too much on Corinne. Yeah, I mean, there's finally a lot of other things going on. And you saw a little bit in the credit bed where um, you know Jasmine was giving her the 100% um, chocolate. chocolate. Uh, yeah, Corinne is um, a, obviously a big personality. Um, I think, again, with the way viewers watch the show, um, you know, I get it, but... Um, I think it's important in life. Um, you can be serious and you can take serious situations very seriously while still having fun or not taking yourself too seriously. I think Corinne is kind of the antithesis of that. Um, and certainly she's a big personality and when you're vocal, you can certainly open yourself up for criticism, which she has. But you can say the same thing about me at times. Um, you know, I've, I've gone for it and I've gotten criticism for that. Um, but... She, you know, in very different ways, you know, you could say the same thing about Rachel as you could say about Corinne, while they're very different people. Um, they made it easy for, like, sometimes it's, it's very difficult being The Bachelor and dating multiple people. So it, 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 there's a lot of burden in some ways on the women to, like, help drive the conversation because while they might have their first conversation on the night, I might be on my 16th. You know, and sometimes it's just like, I don't know what to talk or ask about. Have I already asked this question? And so it's the women who can really just like, hey, let's have some fun. Let's, you know, and help drive the conversations are the ones who seem to have the most success with moving the relationships forward. And, and in different ways, Rachel and Corinne are, were very good at that. And you can see why they're, they're moving forward. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's... There's always red flags in every relationship. Corinne has showed hers. And, um, you know, right now you see me working through that. But um, sometimes she gets a little too much heat and for ultimately is not really committing any crimes. Uh, I think we've all enjoyed a couple glasses of champagne and done some childlike things in our lives. You know, like, what are you, you going to do? We've all enjoyed a bouncy house, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> or something like it. Is it weird for you to watch, though, Corinne back? live when you kind of had a, a different relationship with her? Yes and no. I mean, I was pretty much uh, in the know of, of most things going on, and I was well aware that uh, Corinne would probably be someone who would um, be misunderstood or, or get some heat. Um, I don't get to see the kind of those you know, interviews or testimonials or whatever you want to call them. She certainly has some funny one-liners. Um, <laughs> the naps was pretty good. Yeah. Um, Night's I heard she also quoted Jesus, too. They didn't air that. She's like, apparently Jesus took naps, too. Uh, that didn't make, make TV, but um, she's funny, you know? I mean, she makes you laugh.